Hey guys, this is Alex. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today I am bringing to you a video about curling your hair with either a flat iron or an actual curling rod. Um, recently I had purchased the Style House flat iron and I bought it at Walmart. Uh, They're doing a presentation and the lady that was doing the presentation was showing how you can curl you're here with a flat iron, so it gave me an idea to make a video about it. I've seen videos in the past about it, and they make it look so easy, and unfortunately, it's not easy for me. So <laughs> I just wanted to make the video so you guys can see how um, what the big difference is between the two. So the lady that was at the store who was doing the presentation for the flat iron, she was... Uh, advertising it because she was saying how this is a professional style um, flat iron and how it wasn't being sold at any store um, you could pretty much get it online and that was it and they just so happened to bring it at Walmart uh, and seeing how it turned out how many people would actually grab one to buy during the presentation and then decide from there whether they wanted to add it as a product at their store so it was heated up to 450 degrees i believe at the time when she put it on her hair the lady seemed like she had very uh fine thin hair and when she did it the result wasn't the greatest in my opinion um i think because she was like rushing it and i think she did it multiple times that day specifically um dif at different times during the day so Pretty much she just grabbed one piece of hair and was like, oh, all you have to do is put it in between the flat iron, throw the hair back all the way around to the other side, and then you just pull down. And supposedly this is going to make a curl. Look at that. That's a decent curl. Now I prefer when I curl my hair that the curls are like closer to the head for the lower half of my hair. And reason for that is just because I know that's the longer, longest portion of my hair. So over time throughout the day, it's just gonna relax and the curl's not gonna be as tight. So I try to start closer to the head and then wish for the best that it's gonna end up lasting for a while. The lady at the store, she also mentioned that when you do your curls with this flat iron, that your curls are going to last longer in comparison to any other product out there. See, that wasn't very consistent. And that's what I hate about using the flat iron as a curler. To me, it doesn't always turn out the same. Maybe I'm taking too much hair, I don't know. But I feel like if I'm gonna do this, what does it matter? I should just curl. Okay, here we go again. Okay, that's bad. So as you can tell, pretty much I'm not getting the greatest result. Maybe it's the segment that I took. Maybe if I take like a smaller portion, it'll help the situation. So I'm going to take half of this hair. And they said like, go backwards. I'm afraid to grab it from here. I feel like I'm going to end up burning my fingers because this is hot. hard on the hand too. You have to have a flexible wrist to do this. So this is what I'm getting. The first one turned out nice, which is this one, which is how many links is that? Like one, two, two 
curl waves in there. And then this is like one at the bottom. I don't like that. So for the longest, um, I've been using this Infinity Pro Conair Curling Iron, or not Curling Iron, Curling Rod. I'm terrified to do this without looking at the mirror. Just using the camera right now. Usually I hold it on there for about six seconds or so and then let it go. Where is it? Jeez Louise. Definitely way better. So kudos to anybody that knows how to do this with the flat iron consistently because I sure do not. It always turns out different. Now, I'm not trying to make this as a long video. I'm really not because I've got stuff to do today. But I think I'm going to just stick with curling my hair with the curling rod. Way easier. More consistent. I don't have to crank my arm in crazy positions. I know this looks like a crazy position right now, but it's actually not. It's more like, oh, I'm yawning, oh, stretching in the morning sort of thing, not breaking my arm. Was this the good one? I don't even remember. It's horrible. Okay, I'll leave that one alone. I will try another section with the flat iron and hopefully... I get better results. But as you can tell, I favor definitely the curling rod. It's way easier. Beautiful. Look at that curl. I think the one that I did with the flat iron is making the rest of the curls look Horrible. These are the ones with the curling iron. And this is the one with the flat iron. Now, the biggest thing that sold me on that flat iron was that the lady said that if you curl your hair with that flat iron, the way that I was showing you guys, that your curls would last up to two days without having to retouch so I was like wow that's amazing because sometimes I have to retouch my curls with the the curling rod or curling rod or curling rod but usually it's like every couple days or so okay let's try this flat iron one more time Ow, got some knots in here. Now, when I first ever saw this done, it was like maybe two years ago or more. Yeah, it had been more than two years ago. And everybody made it look so easy. And then there was this one lady that's very popular on YouTube who does like a lot of reviews um, on makeup and hair and stuff like that and even she was like I have no clue how people are getting perfect curls every single time it's just an odd position in my opinion like you curl it back and then you got to figure out where the back of that hair is and then pull they say while twisting backwards. Pull, 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 pull. Hopefully it turns out. I don't know if I like that. What do you think? What do you guys think? I'm trying to get this other hair out the way. This is the one I just did. This. 
versus, oh my God, all this hair is mixing. What do you think? Judge for yourself. I think I like the tighter rod curl because I know over time that is going to relax and it's going to give me this very nice sort of a big wave curl look in my hair. I'm going to leave it alone though. Let me do another one. Oh, wrong hand. They say the side of the head that you're working on, that's the side that you gotta put the flat iron in. Oh my gosh. To balance this is a pain in the freaking ass. Okay, I think I got everything I need. Okay. And we're going down. Is that supposed to be? I don't even know. What happened here? Ooh. That's what I got. That's the result I got with the flat iron. I think because of my perfectionist attitude, I I can't accept that. I'm sorry. It just looks crazy. It looks like nappy and frizzed and I'm not talking about this one. This is with the curling rod. I'm talking about this one. I like that it's bigger or whatever. It's kind of like how um when you wrap a gift and then you put the the string on top or whatever and you get the the scissors and you go like that with it. what it kind of reminds me of. A little sloppy, but has shape to it. Let's try another one. So you grab the hair, flip it back, grab the other end, wherever it is. Make sure you keep it turned going backwards. Here we go. That didn't work out. Okay. As you can tell, obviously I can't find a rhythm with doing this. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, if anybody knows how to do this properly. But honestly, it's just too much thinking. If I cannot even, if I'm not using a mirror right now and I can do this and I'm not even really paying attention, I'm using the curling rod. I think I'm gonna just stick with this. It's pretty easy. And I actually used to use the curling rod that had the little clamping flat plate top on top of it. And I used to use that way back in the 90s, I believe. I started doing my own hair when I was about six years old, straightening it with a a blow dryer and brush. My mom was a hairstylist, so I had to learn these things early. What I do not like about that Conair Infinity curling rod is that it does leave like some weird after smell. If there's a product out there that keeps your curling rods and flat irons like smell free or can take that smell out or something please let me know I don't want to damage it that's for sure I tried using just like alcohol like rubbing alcohol and still after like the first use or whatever it still goes back to smell like it just smells like burnt hair and hair Perfect every single time. Look at that. Anyways, I think 
I'm going to stop right here because you guys get the idea. With the curling rod, you're just going to get the same result every single time if you know how to use a curling rod. Uh, with the flat iron trying to curl your hair, you definitely have to get used of a specific type of technique. And I'm guessing practice makes perfect with that sort of thing. But I'm usually in a rush in the morning and trying to get ready, get out the door. Don't really have too much time to do my hair. I probably set aside maybe 15 minutes total to do my makeup and hair in the morning. So in and out of this bathroom from doing my hair and everything is what I'm trying to do first thing in the morning. But um, <clears throat> if you guys suggest any sort of cleaning methods for curling rods, I would greatly appreciate them because I love my curling rod. Um, for anybody that knows how to curl their hair with the flat iron, awesome. Kudos for you. Um, I do prefer the curling rod though. So if you guys have any questions, um, comments, just leave them down below. Please press the like button, subscribe for any of my future videos, or even look at the old videos of where I'm also testing out these same products or other products um, that aren't involving hair stuff. Anyways, thanks guys for tuning in. Take care.